So if you're an avid Pro Tools user for either Mac or PC, this keyboard is exactly what you need to master Pro Tools and speed up your editing workflow. This is the backlit keyboard from us at Editors Keys. It gives you all of the shortcuts for avid Pro Tools and it works with either a Mac or a PC. So let me show you how it works. So this is the Avid Pro Tools backlit keyboard from us at Editors Keys. If you've never seen one before, uh, it's a fully backlit keyboard. It has three levels of backlighting. Uh, this is the Mac version, but there's a whole PC version as well. And a lot of people ask, what do the colors do and how does the keyboard exactly work? Well, the colors on the keyboard actually reference different types of tool sets. So uh, you'll find similar tools are all using the same color. And this helps your, your brain find similar tools in a workflow much faster than ever before. And it can really help speed up your editing within Pro Tools. Uh, you'll also see on each key, you have the standard text reference in the top left corner for standard typing. So it works perfectly as a usual keyboard for using on the internet or Microsoft Word. And then you have a shortcut icon as well as the shortcut text. And this helps you recognize shortcuts and learn shortcuts as well, much faster than ever before. So there are a ton of shortcuts on this keyboard, but just to show you how quickly you can edit, I'll show you some of the most basic, but most used. So a quick tap on the three on the numeric pad enables recording. You can instantly zoom in or out with R and T. And then if you want to add a fade to end, you could just simply hit the G key. So when you get your keyboard, you'll see there's over 100 of these handy shortcuts. So this is the Avid Pro Tools keyboard recommended by Avid themselves. We sell it all around the world and it's used by most of the world's top pro studios, including Abbey Road Studios, which is of course where the Beatles recorded all of their famous albums. So if you wanna learn more about this keyboard, check out the link in the description or around this video. And if you wanna ask any questions about this video, please leave a comment in the section below as I'll get back to every single question asked. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And also if you wanna learn more about audio production, make sure you subscribe to this channel as we have a ton of great tutorials every single week. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.